Well, the Surf Tribe is, is a strong community of surfers. Um, I think usually it's, it's, it's at a place where there's a, um, a long tradition of, of surf culture. The bra boy grip is like that. It's pretty much the strongest handshake you can possibly do. It's in the tat and um, anyone who's a bra boy, that's how they shake hands to say hello. Walk up and just go, oh, it's God slapping it up. It's not something that you can join, you know, you're born into it. From a very young age at the beach, the older guys start, you know, bringing up the next generation. So it's very much a family thing, you can't just join, it, you, you have to be born into it. Maroobah Beach um, has definitely been mums and dads to so many kids in Maroobah. I mean, you go down there and you know you're going to be taken care of. Um, any kid can come down there. And in a strange way, River Beach will take care of you. Surf tribes can be quite territorial sometimes, you know, but it's only, I think, it's when, it's, when it comes down to respecting their local community. I mean, isn't that what a community is supposed to be? You know, there's something that's proud of where they're from and looks after each other. So I think when people come in to different surf communities without respect, without obeying, you know, uh, obeying the local surf etiquette, it's the only time they, they run into trouble. The day that I walked in and found my mum shooting up heroin and then I um, said, get out of the house, and then my mum's boyfriend jumped up and hit me with um, a baseball bat, told me to get out of the house, and, and I went flying down the beach seeing Sonny, and Sonny just gave me a big hug and said, look, you know, we've got our own family of friends. And um, from that day forward, I think it really, it made us all realise that, you know, the family life at home can finish at any time, but the boys will never, never die, you know? The boys will always be there for you. I think Hollywood has, has always betrayed um, surfing in, you know, very stereotypical of, of just violence in the water and fights on the beach. But I think that's a very small part of surf culture. There's so many more positives to what a strong surf culture does for their local community, for the next generation of kids um, coming up, you know, and making sure that, that, that things are balanced in their community. For instance, down in Maroubra, they tried to put uh, parking meters down on the beach and we felt that that would stop um, poor families from visiting the beach. You know, a single mother with five kids won't bring her kids to the beach if, the, if she's got to pay, you know, $12 for the day surfing. So we stopped that. We stopped them from doing that. So I think there's a whole lot of other stuff that, that strong surf communities do um, that aren't, you know, uh, that, and they're not given that respect for. Cool. Good. <laughs> Is that right there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, man.